What's up, everybody? It is your man Brian back with you for another juice review. And today we have 1776 by Patriot Vapor. Okay, here's the bottle. That's what the bottle looks like. Um, Max VG, their Max VG is a 7525, uh, 6 Nick. Um, 30 mil bottle, patriotliquid.com is where you can get this stuff at. The flavor profile description is on the website, but, um, it gives a big long description of 1776 and how it's an historic time in, um, American history and everything like that. But the flavor profile of the juice is strawberries and cream. So that's, uh, what the... Flavor profile of the juices. Today I have Dragon Scale Coils on the XQ2. Yep, it's on that side. Made by Smock. Awesome, awesome device. The only thing that I'm dissatisfied with is that they put the screen on top. So if your juice leaks or anything like that, you have to quickly wipe it off. Because if it gets down in that screen, it'll fry the screen. So you have to be careful about that. Um, I don't usually use drippers on top of this, but I wanted to test it out and see how she worked. So uh, and um, so far, it seems to be doing all right. Um, I think they should have put the screen maybe on this side. Uh, maybe like uh, X cube 2 down here, right above this. And the screen maybe right here or, you know, something. They could have did it. I don't know. It's just my opinion. They could have did it differently than putting it right up by where the juice could leak out onto it. Because it's, I mean, for how much, well, I mean, for how much it was when it first came out, um, you know, that would have been a problem to me. That would have been something that would have turned me away from it. But anyway, I got the Royal Hunter on here. Dual Dragon Scale Coils. Oming um, out at 0.14, uh, 0.14 ohms, running it at 115 watts. So um, let's go ahead and give a cloud production test. And uh, we'll give it a couple times. I just re-wicked this, so I'm still breaking in the cotton. Um, ran out of my cotton bacon, so now I'm using cotton that you have to break in. Just regular cotton balls, uh, which I prefer over the Japanese cotton because that stuff is just straight junk. So, but uh, let's go ahead and give a cloud production test. We'll do that, and then I'll give you how the flavor hits. Man, these dragon scale coils they put out at 115 watts. I usually don't vape this high, I usually use my IPV4. And uh, that thing, I usually vape at about 80 watts, but for some reason, uh, there's a lot of wire on these Dragon Scale coils, so they take a little while to ramp up, so you need a little bit more power. And man, these things give off awesome flavor, but they are a pain in the ass to wick. I built them around this screwdriver right here, so they could fit in the Royal Hunter, because I had just put a brand new build and I can't find the coil. Uh, I had just put a brand new build in the 13 Heavens, 9 Hells. I had put a uh, twisted 24 gauge sandwich in three pieces of 0.8 ribbon wire. And then um, kind of helixed it up. And um, it one coil came out to 0.08. So I got that in the 13 Heavens, 9 Hells right now. And I had just put it in there. So I didn't want to take it out to put it in the... Uh, I didn't want to take that out to put the Dragon Scales in the 13 Heavens. Which I should have installed them first. But, you know, stuff happens. So I had to wrap it around this. And it was a pain in the ass to wick. Because the Dragon Scales like to grab on the cotton. So if you pull it too hard, it'll rip. So you have to be really easy with it. And then if you pull it too hard, it likes to spread the coils apart. So you have to be really, really easy with it. You have to finesse it. It's a finesse kind of coil. But it's worth it once you get it wicked. So... But let's give another cloud production test and I'll let you know how the flavor hits.
for a 75-25, man, this stuff clouds. It definitely chucks. Um, it definitely, definitely chucks. Um, if I have a, the door closed in my room, my whole room will cloud up with two or three hits of this stuff. Uh, it's awesome. Um, I got the bottle not that long ago from um, Electra Vapor. From a vape shop up in North Carolina when I went to visit my fiance. And uh, I haven't really been vaping on it that much. Um, but the last couple days, I've been tearing it apart, man. And uh, I think I, I tested it out when I first got it. Uh, and it needed a little bit of steeping time because you couldn't really taste the strawberry. So uh, you could taste the creaminess, but you couldn't taste the strawberry, really. It needed a little steep time. So uh, it was maybe, let's see, this bottle was full. It was up to the neck when I got it. And when I tested it out, I just did a couple drips and brought it down maybe to about the, the start of the bubble on top. And for the last couple of days, man, I've been tearing through this stuff, and it's really, really good. On the inhale, you get a nice hit of strawberry, and on the exhale, you get that nice, creamy exhale. It's a really, really good juice. I really like this stuff, and everybody knows that I like strawberry babes. Strawberry custard, strawberry cream, strawberry milkshake, strawberry everything. Um, if you watched the scoop last night with me and Vape and Minuteman and uh, SC Vapes, uh, Donnie FMNG was on there, Juicy Jones, uh, Tara and Mike from Happy Valley, and Jay from Home Brewed Vapes was on there. And he was nice enough to send everybody out his whole line for us to review. And me and Rob were the only ones that didn't get it because we got 30 inches of snow. So the mail kind of got delayed. But um, everybody else, uh, we did the, they did the live juice review on um the scoop last night and um you know so if you want to know how jay's juices are you can go over and check that out when i get them they should be here tomorrow hopefully but if not they'll be here um friday um so as soon as i get them i'm gonna put a review up and let everybody know what i think of them so uh yeah that's how that's gonna go and uh, if you did not check out the scoop last night, if you didn't catch the live show, go and watch the replay, man. We got a giveaway going on over there. Uh, Vapor Minute Man's got a um, giveaway going on on there right now. Put a message down in the comments. And on the um, next show, we're going to do the pick and give away a whole line of homebrewed vapes. He's going to give everybody, he, he's going to give the winner a whole line of his juices, uh, and, um, yeah, and also he's got, for seven days from the start of the show, which was yesterday, for seven days, he's got a deal going on where you can get, uh, 120s for $10 off, which would be $35, and that's shipping included of, uh, Jay's juice, and you can, um, Email him at, uh, I believe it's homebrewvapes at gmail.com or it might be hotmail.com or something like that. Look on the uh, the scoop. The Jay's um, email is down in the description. So go ahead and check him out. But anyway, guys, that's how this juice is, man. It's a nice strawberry inhale. It hits you with the strawberries. Nice, fresh strawberry. It's like you took a strawberry straight out the package, washed it off, and popped it in your mouth and ate it. Um, nice creaminess on the exhale, like, um, you took a big spoonful of whipped cream and chewed it with the strawberry. That's how it is, man. It's, it's awesome. I love this juice. Um, I got two more juices from Electric Vapor that I'm probably going to do tonight. Um, and I got Jay's juice line coming in and then it was pretty cool last night on the show. Um, I had entered into Rob's, uh, giveaway of the triumphant e-juices that he did on his channel. And um, it, it turned out that I won uh, while we were on the show, so that was pretty crazy. So uh, I got them coming in. I'll, do, I'll review them when uh, they come in. And um, I also have a, another juice coming in that I might throw up a, a juice or few for. I don't know. I have to talk to the person and see if they uh, mind me doing it. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you tonight. I'm going to keep this thing short and sweet. Don't forget to join Casa, fight for your right to vape, vaping militia. Come over to Vaporium, join us on there. It's an awesome setup. You know I talk about it in every video. It's a Facebook-type setup uh, for vapors. 
it's awesome. They got the G spot over there. You got uh, vape reviewers on there. You know, you got Mike Vapes come in and hang out. Uh, Billy Vaping Heathen. Uh, Mark Fagan comes in every once in a while. Fluffy McMuffins over there. Dirty Devo, DJ LSB, uh, Nikki B, Big Natty. You know, we all hang out. We all kick it. We all have fun. And if you got any questions, man, that's the place to go to answer them. Um, and if you don't have a camera and a mic to get in the G spot, all you have to do is post it on the main feed and your your question will be answered. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. Stay good, vape hard, and don't forget to fight for your right to vape. And don't forget to catch our next show, The Scoop. It's looking like we're going to be doing it. Well, it's going to be sometime in February. It's not guaranteed yet, so I'm not going to say anything on a date. But it's going to be in February, guys. So definitely check that out. And don't forget to go and get you some homebrew vapes. And definitely don't forget to pick up some of this. 1776 by Patriot Vapor. It's awesome, awesome juice. I'll put a link in the description where you can get it down below. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here, guys. That's all I got for you tonight. I'm going to be doing two more videos tonight, hopefully, as long as I don't get busy. So, um, yeah, let me cloud you on out.